You know, sometimes it feels like we're living in an age of miracles. And honestly, one of the most incredible ones is happening right inside our own cells. Today, we're going to break down a huge leap forward in gene editing. This is a technology that's jumping right out of science fiction and into a reality that could literally reshape medicine as we know it. So let's start with a really powerful idea. Think about our DNA, the blueprint for life itself, as a gigantic book. Now, what if there's a typo in that book? Just a tiny little error, but it causes a devastating disease. What if we had the power to go into that book and fix just that one typo? permanently. That right there, that's the incredible promise of gene editing. Okay, so to really understand how we're getting so much closer to making that promise a reality, we've got to cover the basics of what this amazing technology is all about. At its heart, gene editing is kind of like a biological find and replace function for our DNA. Scientists can use these tools to zero in on a very specific sequence and then snip. They can cut it, replace it, or add something new. The real story here, though, is how these tools are evolving. We're talking about a level of precision that was just, well, unimaginable a few decades ago. And that evolution brings us directly to the big news that's making waves right now. It's coming from a biopharmaceutical company called SOHM Incorporated. So here's the headline. Solm's own gene editing platform, which they've named Abby, has successfully modified human cells in a lab. Now, this is a massive step. It moves the tech from just a promising theory to a real, tangible result. It's what paves the way for actual, real-world applications down the line. Okay, now this is where it gets really interesting, the how they did it. Psalm's big move was to upgrade from an older, CRISPR-based tool, DCAS9, to a much newer one called DCAS12A. The analogy here is perfect. If the old tech was a basic find and replace that could only change one word at a time, this new version, it's like an advanced script that can edit multiple different words all at the same time. This is a huge leap in power and efficiency. So how did they pull it off? Well, their path was super methodical and clear. First, they upgraded the core tech in their Abby platform. Then they put it to the test and proved it works on human cells. And that validation is what allowed them to achieve their main goal, unlocking that powerful multi-target editing we were just talking about. It's really a textbook example of how solid foundational science leads to these big flashy results. And listen, this isn't just the company hyping itself up. Their COO, Dr. David Aguilar, said this validates their entire scientific strategy. For a biotech company, a quote like that is more than just a comment. It's a massive signal of confidence to investors, to potential partners, and to the whole scientific community. It says, hey, our platform is the real deal, and we're on the right track. A successful lab test is fantastic, but what does it actually mean for medicine and for research? Let's dive into the real-world applications this breakthrough really unlocks. Okay, this is where the rubber really meets the road. See, Soam didn't just stop approving their tech works. They immediately went on to show a very specific, very practical use for it. And this is brilliant because it perfectly illustrates the platform's precision. They were able to create a custom line of ovarian cancer cells where a specific enzyme, GYS1, is overactive. So why does that matter? Well, creating these custom cell lines is like building the perfect test dummy for developing new drugs. And just like that, this single achievement unlocks a whole business model. Drug companies can use these custom cells to screen new cancer treatments. University labs get a powerful new research tool. And for SOM itself, this makes their ABB platform incredibly valuable for the kind of partnerships and licensing deals that really fuel growth in this industry. So we've seen the science and we've seen a key application. Now it's time to zoom all the way out and look at the bigger picture. Because this breakthrough isn't happening in a bubble. It's part of a massive, and I mean massive, global market. To really understand the stakes, you just have to follow the money. In 2024, the global gene editing market is already worth nearly $10 billion. Let that sink in for a second. This is not some niche corner of science anymore. It's a huge industry pulling in staggering amounts of investment. And if you think that's big, just look at this growth. The market is projected to absolutely skyrocket to $25 billion by 2030. That's more than doubling in just six years. This chart basically visualizes what you can only call a gene editing gold rush. Everybody is racing to get their hands on the best tech. And that brings us right back around to SOM and their ABB platform. This announcement isn't just a cool scientific achievement. It's a strategic move and a really high stakes game. 
By proving their DCAS 12A base system is so effective, they are positioning themselves to grab a piece of that $25 billion pie. So the key takeaway here is pretty clear. Our ability to precisely edit DNA is moving forward at an incredible speed, with breakthroughs like SOAMs just constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible. This tech holds the promise of curing diseases we once thought were untreatable. But as we stand on the edge of this new era, it forces us to ask some really profound new questions about access, about ethics, and about the unforeseen consequences of rewriting the very code of life itself. Thanks for joining me.